Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last episode was really good. We had that full on train heist that was for Mike's new leg that he got. So it didn't really work and Skye is gravely injured. And seems like the, the team is upset in a lot of different ways. It, it, it was made to seem that Ward may be mad at Coulson for, I guess, putting her in that position. But, I mean, she's part of the team. This is what y'all do. I don't know how upset you can be about that. But I also think it has maybe something to do with May because I think there might be a triangle brew in here. Kind of weird. Um, God, I hope Sky's okay. And this episode is called Tahiti written out in like acronym form so it makes me think that tahiti is a computer program or something that you know we know was this fake place that they sent colson to to get through his operations which are they gonna have to resort to that kind of measure for sky is that what we're doing colson's gonna be on the other side of it this time if that's it so I guess that would give him a new perspective. And I don't know if everybody's going to be on the same page about this. But, oh my God, we have to save her. And, you know, poor Mike has, you know, been put on a new mission. He just wants to see his son. I feel terrible for him. And I guess the uh, the name on the leg was what? Death, Death, Death Rock? Is that what it was? Is that like his handle, his name? I don't know, but uh, I, I just need them to, uh, <laughs> I need them to save Sky. So hopefully that's what we're going to be focusing on here. I'm expecting some group dynamic stuff to pop off, but uh, let's see. Here we go. We'll do everything we can. Everything. What was the thinking? It's not your fault. Careful. She shouldn't have been there. I'm her SO. Oh, Tony. you're blaming yourself. Okay. Okay. The one to blame is the man who shot her. Yes. Ian Quinn. Fuck Quinn. We resected what we could, but there's been too much damage. So what's next? We can keep her comfortable, but you'll need to make a decision on whether or not you want to keep her on life support. <gasps> oh my God. Tahiti. I'm saying you need to call her family. Get them here as soon as possible. They are her family. We're her family. Sorry. I was beginning to think you forgot. Get him. He does have information though. Like that was an order from the clairvoyant. Yeah. But fuck you. There are doctors who brought me back from the dead. If they can do that, I'm betting they can save Sky. Does she want that? <laughs> you didn't get a choice. It's time you know the truth. You were begging to die. It's medically impossible. Except for the fact that I'm standing here. If Coulson thinks there's a chance in a million to save Sky, to save any of us, then take it. You mean giving up? I'm killing the man responsible. I did like seeing you go after Quinn. I did too. You don't open the blinds like that very often. Respond immediately. Disobeying a direct order. We didn't hand Quinn over for interrogation. Right. You're in trouble. Garrett. What the hell are you doing here? Well, let's suppose the level A jackass I'm staring at. I still follow orders. I always get I like Bill Pullman one. and Bill Paxton mixed up, but You're Paxton. You turn Ian Quinn over for transport to the fridge. Can you die? Is it an Antoine triplet? R.I.P. We are taking her to the trauma center in Bethesda. Quinn actually pulled the trigger? Yes. This guy infiltrated his compound in Malta. I'm sure he's tucked between the jacuzzi and the squash court. Hey. That doesn't need to come to this. Hey, Damn. To stand down. You read the transcripts. Yeah. He begged the doctors to let him die. This is different. This guy's still alive. We have to keep it that way. That's true. 
Maybe it's not as big of an ass. You have no rights. You have no lawyer. I think keeping Agent Coulson here from throwing this is out not this plane is a very weak legal. heartbeat of a young agent downstairs. The only incentive I have for not tearing your tongue out is that you use it to answer my questions. Tell us about Cybertech and the Deathlock program. Deathlock? Catchy, right? Deathlock. Sounds like some wrestler from the 80s. What is it really? She's still alive. Yeah. You better hope she stays that way. Is that why you shot Sky? Because she saw what Cybertech delivered? No. I shot Sky because that's what the clairvoyant told me to do. That's big. You wanted to see me. I just got off the phone with the trauma center in Bethesda. Dr. Strayton's gone off the grid. The clairvoyant sees everything. That's not good. Except what happened <gasps> to him. And he's desperate to know. This is still about me. So shooting a girl forces you to either figure it all out. The clairvoyant that's why they ordered it. Or you let the girl die. Oh man, that is a very mean game of chicken. Even if we do find where they treated you and we were able to replicate the procedure, there's the other obvious question. Which is? Whether we should. We need to acknowledge that doing so might give the clairvoyant exactly what he wants. I mean, it's going to, but you gotta do it. You gotta. We need her. <laughs> They're trying their best. Yeah, this is interesting. World War II bunker. Collapsed bunker. Definitely not a sanctioned shield for something. So Fury's been to this place and he's the person who's sanctioned the operations on Agent Coulson and why aren't you trying to find the fire? Well, he's not answering his phone. It's not an encryption. No? It's a map. Ah. How was the drive from Istanbul? Countersign. No clue. Never heard it. I can't find it in any of Shield's protocol Bumpy? directives. This is Agent Coulson with Shield. We don't know the counter, but we have a team member in dire need of medical assistance. How was the drive from Istanbul? Damn it. Pretty pleased it is. Didn't know the countersign. Go left to right. That's good. It doesn't need, we don't, we don't need to do this. Come on, they're clearly shilled. There's too much might on top of us. Trust me, it's better. You don't want them hearing the horrible death we're walking into. Ah, uh, don't say that. Humor, son. You bet you're too serious. Yeah, so funny. Besides, if the job was easy, it wouldn't be any fun. I'm just making a mess. No hard feelings, Bob. They're just doing their jobs. GH325, it might help you too. Why? Know you? I don't know. I, He's I been here. You know about the timer. The timer. We got a problem. You guys go back a ways? Not really. A few months. We have nothing in common. Couldn't be more different. But you can't imagine your life without her. Yeah. Yes. She's very lucky to have you. I know anything bad ever happens to me. I hope you're in my corner too. Calms her down. Oh. If I don't hear anything within the hour, I'm going after them. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Let me this. Yeah, that's familiar. Do we know it's gonna work sure. the same way? I'll be right behind you. Go. What are you gonna do? Tahiti. It's a room? Each time we save her, I ask myself, is this what Sky would want? We didn't come this far to quit. We have it. They're alive. Maybe we can. Oh. Come in. What's your status? Hey, you with me? What did you see? They took the drug up the sky. No, don't give it to her. The <gasps> drug? They can't give it to her. All right, you tell yourself right here. We need to get out of this mountain and off the ground. Now, let's go. What in the world? Oh, good. Get off the ground. Get off the ground. 
Boy, y'all wrecked that facility. Oh, fucking hell. What harm can it do? Her heartbeat, she's stabilizing. Just like that. Simmons, did someone tell me what we just saw? A miracle. The girl's a fighter. What was that stuff you just gave her? Who knows? Is clairvoyant played you? I don't know. Left you to rot. I don't think it's going to be that easy. You said there was good news. I did? Oh, yeah. You still have your tongue. Well, the good news is that she's alive, so you won't get a murder charge. My man Shrimp's got eyes for that biotech gal. Uh, he sure does. What made you change your mind? What? <laughs> Dr. Manhattan? An alien. What is that? I just got really scared that she would suffer the way that I did. But she didn't. For whatever reason, <sighs> she didn't. Well, she didn't have to have all those surgeries. Is she going to be different? Who? Who? I'm going to go see if they have a map. Is all of Midgard so desolate? <gasps> Midgard? Are you as guardian? I know where that is. This is Death Valley. She's your bride? Yep. Since yesterday morning. Don't. And you prefer her to me? Yeah. This poor girl. Jimmy! I swear to protect you and keep you safe. Oh, Not this is so fucked up. Name. It's Lorelai. Lorelai? My name is Lorelai. Am I supposed to know who you are? <laughs> okay, well, Sky is alive. At what cost? I don't know because they they got that whatever it is from that dead whatever it was. And, you know, she was still alive, so it didn't take as much as it did with Coulson. And you would think that would be the suffering he's talking about, but, you know, he didn't say everything he saw it, it, it's more than that. It's more of the unknown. What it is that they are putting in their bodies. And no telling what they were doing down there. I, but a lot of stuff was lost. In this pursuit. Uh, including people that died, you know. So. There's victory here. But also it, does, it feels icky, you know. I loved the scene in the waiting room where everyone was waiting to find out about her. They are her family. And like, like Simmons said, it's only been a couple months, but I mean, you can already feel what they have. And so Ward is blaming himself, not Coulson. That's understandable considering he is her SO. But, I mean, that is just, I mean, it comes with the territory. It comes with the job. And it's so fucked up of the clairvoyant to do this for the sole reason of trying to figure out what happened to Coulson. And I guess the same thing that is keeping the clairvoyant from being able to read what happened with Coulson, I don't think he's going to be able to read what happened with Sky now, so I guess he's going to be even that much more intrigued. But they have Quinn, which is good. Because he's the worst, even though it was, you know, not something he wanted to do. He still did it, and he still sucks, so I don't care about him at all. Uh, but it was nice to see how worried everyone was about Sky and what everyone was willing to do. And this was like a big thing for them to have to go and... I mean, they just decimated that place, but they got it done. And uh, I thought Bill Paxson was going to be a hindrance, but he really was a help. And Triplett was too, and he is definitely into 
Gemma. So we'll see if that goes anywhere. <laughs> we'll see them again. But yeah. Um, what was that thing? I mean, definitely alien. But it's not, I mean, it looked like, it kind of looked like a decaying Dr. Manhattan. But whatever it is, it has some, some really good healing factor. I don't guess it's necessarily bad. It's just unknown. You don't know what you've done, what the consequences of it will be. I wonder how Sky's going to be. Is she going to be different? I know everyone like comments on the fact that Coulson seems different and I guess he is but he still seems like who he was in the movies like at his core so we'll see if there's any notice noticeable difference with Sky. but uh I mean we had a single focus mission here and they accomplished it it was pretty touch and go there and uh I mean what Coulson saw made him tell them to try to stop it you know, he didn't get there in time and he kind of snapped out of it, but I don't think it's just, you know, yay, she's alive. I think there will be consequences to what they've done here. And uh, Lorelai, she's got to be Asgardian, right? Calling Earth Midgard and taking Jimmy like that. Why? Does that have anything to do with what happened in this episode or is that setting up something else? Is this still Fallout from Thor 2? It's been a while since I've seen The Dark World, so I don't know. She didn't look familiar to me, but that I might just be forgetting her. But what does she want? How, how does it have anything to do with what happened in this episode, if it even does? Don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm happy she's saved. Sky is saved. It doesn't feel super great because of I'm the what we saw and what we don't know. But I mean, save Colson. I'm glad he's alive, and I'm glad she's alive. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna take it. But what it means, I'm sure, is yet to be known. But I'll take the win. It's just really nice to see in such a short amount of time, a short amount of episodes, how much Sky has meant to every single member. Like you saw how May reacted. She wanted to go punt some shit. Ward blamed himself. Coulson wanted to save her in the same way he was saved. I mean, uh, Fitz was, you know, being brave and taking the lead when they got down in there and and Simmons was like with her the whole time and administered the drug. So, I mean, everyone. But that's what I really love about the show so far is just how much it feels like a family already. So I'm excited to see how it is next episode, how she is. And if they're going to tell her everything that happened. If Coulson's going to tell anybody what he saw. If Nick is going to ever respond, you know, he's got some answers. He's got some things he needs to answer for. So, yeah, this is a really good episode. I'm glad. Glad Sky's okay. And uh, definitely uh, some new mysteries were brought up here. So I'm excited about where it goes from this. But I'll, I'll take what we got and whoever Lorelai is. Remains to be seen, but yeah, really good episode. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.